Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the work it out. So the first one is all about we have to do a simple restart. So to do a simple restart, we just need to go over here in the start icon. Now go over here in the power icon and do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to check. Next one is all about, we need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So first we need to know the way the game is installed. For this, we just need to go over here, right click, go to the properties, install it file. Just check over here, it is 81.41 TV, which is the game size, which is installed on local list D. So right now, close this closes as well go over in the file explorer now from here go to this pc go to local list d go to steam library steam apps go to common now from here we have to go to kingdom come deliverance 2 now from here go to win folder win 64 now from here you can see this is the application so we have to launch the game from here so try launch the game from the application i mean the installer file not from the steam Next one, we need to run the game as an administrator and we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So just go over here, right click, go to show more options, go to the properties, compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode, set this to Windows 1 as the first step, go for apply, next one go for Windows 8, go for apply and go for ok. And also we need to run the game in as an administrator, go to the show more option the same way, go to compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply, go for OK. Now close this, go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about, we need to delete the saved game file. So just go to the file explorer, go to documents and get into my games. So if you have a folder for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, just delete the respective folder. You'll be losing all the provisions of the game, but that is fine. Just do this and once afterwards, you have to move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here, search for the control panel and we have to click on this one. Now from here, click on system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to scroll down and navigate to the game Kingdom. So keep scrolling down and navigate to Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. So this is the game. So make sure you have to check on the box, both the boxes, private and public. That's what you have to do. So if the game is not here, we need to add it by default. Just click on the change setting and you have to add the game from the installation folder. So if you don't know, just click on the change setting, go to allow another app, go to the browse, this PC, local this D, so this is where the game is in start. Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, navigate to Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Go to bin folder in 64, select this one and we have to open. So I'm not get able to add because the game is already added. So once the game is added, just close this and go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. Is we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here, search for system configuration. Just click on this one. Now from here, we have to navigate to services. Go for disable all and go to hide all Microsoft services. Go for apply, go for OK. Now do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here at the game, right click, go to the properties. If enable the Steam overlay while in game, if it is actually turned it on, we have to turn this off. Now try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, give commands in the launch option. So the first one is BX11. If BX11 is not working, Try changing it to BX12. If BX12 is not working, try changing it to B3, B2. You have to try either BX11 or you have to try BX12 or you have to try B3, B2. Try these and you have to try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, just close everything and you have to try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is still, if you're having the trouble, we need to unplug all the USB devices. For example, you might be connected with an external joystick or an extra devices might be connected. So just unplug everything. Once everything is unplugged, we have to try launching the game. 
make sure new solar board what we need to do is so we just need to close all the overlay and overclocking application so just go over here in the start right click and go to the task manager and right now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background that these things should be removed for example a game like end up is which is around 82 gb when you're launching the game and these things are running in the background they're gonna affect your performance so just close all the overlay and overclocking application just go over here select the discord and go for the end of the task go over here in the big games launcher and go for end the task so just remove everything once everything is successfully removed we just need to close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the windows make sure the windows is up to date for any of these kind of things another one we need to update or we need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here search for view advanced system setting just click on the advanced go for settings advanced once again go for change make sure the game is selected so you have to select the local disk d because the game is on e and you have to uncheck this go for the custom size give the value for initial size that is 1.5 times throttle ram and we have to give the value for the maximum size so just go over here search for the calculator we need a calculator so first type your ram 16 gb should be written and you have to multiply it with 1024 and now we have to multiply it with 1.5 that is 24, 5, 7, 6 is the value. So copy this and we have to paste it. Make sure the maximum size 16 GB multiply it with 1024. And we have to multiply it with 3, that is 14 and 152. And copy this particular value and we have to paste it. So go over here and once every value is being set, just close everything and try launch the game. Make sure it's all about what we need to do. Is we just need to add the game to dedicate a graphics card so just go over here search for the graphics settings and we have to search for the graphics settings and click on this one now from here we have to add the game just click on add desktop app now from here go to this pc go to local this d steam library steam apps go to common now from here go to kingdom come deliverance 2 select the bin folder go for win 64 sorry not this one go to this one select the game it once it is added just go over here scroll down and navigate to the game it is kingdom cleverance 2 is added so just un expand this go over here change this to high performance and go for save and we have to try launch the game still if we are having the trouble we need to move to the next step that is we need to update the graphics card which is a very important step so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia and to the amd so the nvidia users just go over here find everything for example if you're on the geoforce search geoforce if you're on the geoforce 16 series you have to select this one if you're on the geoforce a gt is 1650 select this one and if you're on the windows 11 select this one and go for find now what we need to do is we just need to go over here and we'll be getting a page so from here if the page is based on windows 11 or windows 10 for 64 bit edition download this particular version which is around 844.56 and you can try installing and you have to check make sure if you're on the amd just go to this page select everything according to your pc's configuration so uh you have to select according to your pc's configuration and if you're on the windows 11 with 64 bit edition download this one and if you're on the Windows 10 with 64-bit edition, download this one. We can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. So just go over here. And if the system is based on x64, download this one. And if the system is based on x86, download this one. And even after trying with the stay, if there is an issue, we have to try two important steps. One is we need to verify the game file. So just go over here, right click, go to the properties, install it file, and just click on the verify game file. This is going to cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted, if any files are missing, these issues can pop up. So there will be cross checking this and afterwards I'll be showing you a bunch of steps that can be done hereafter.
And once the fire starts is fully validated, just close this and try launching the key. Last and the least step, we need to uninstall and reinstall the key. So just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall the key. And we have to reinstall it back. While reinstalling it back, you should not be installing it back on the lock in this D, but you have to try either E or C. So that's it. And I hope this kick video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for all these kind of videos. Have a nice day. Bye bye.